Today, I have the privilege of speaking with David Hernandez Huerta. He is our director at Us Two Games. And as we approach Earth Day, which is April 22nd, uh, he has worked on a fantastic game out of Apple Arcade called Alba, A Wildlife Adventure. Uh, David, thank you for being with me today. How are you? Oh, pleasure. Good, thank you. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. Um, I had the chance to play this game for a little bit, uh, but instead of me rambling about it, how about you give us a better idea, a clearer uh, uh, description of what, what to expect? Sure. Um, so Alba is a small uh, open world adventure game in which you play as Alba. It's a 11 year old uh, eco activist uh, and she's trying to catalog all the wildlife in a small island when she spends the summers uh, with her grandparents uh, by taking pictures of them as you can do as a player using your phone uh, like it was a real camera and the story takes you through um, you know a story of bringing a community together trying to stop uh, an ecological disaster but all in a very light-hearted and wholesome and, and hopeful tone. You know playing the game I, I, I couldn't help but take a little bit of, of comparisons to just how easy going it is something like uh the very popular animal crossing mm -hmm. and how it can be enjoyed by by you know a kid teenager an adult just because of the array of things you can do uh was that kind of the idea in development to make sure it was accessible to all ages oh yeah absolutely we have uh you know we come from a history that our parent company has to is a you know, is, is dedicated to UX and user experience or so all the, you know, making sure that users uh, are happy <laughs> with, with their interactions with the digital medium. Mm -hmm. um, so coming from that background, like every game that we've made uh, since I joined eight years ago uh, has had a lot of focus on making sure that it's accessible. Um, and for us is, you know, is the motto of us to games to bring what's meaningful about games to everyone um so that has kind of like two two legs right is is making sure that we make games that have a, a meaning to people and also we have games that people don't find barriers to enjoy uh or as or we can remove as many barriers as possible so for us this was you know we play this kind of games open world games adventure games but they have you know they can be very imposing to people they feel like oh it's going to be a hundred hours and it's going to be this complicated control schemes um like i play these kinds of games it takes me six months to complete one um so we wanted to make something that is the the pure version of that experience something that anyone can jump in and do the things that you would expect for that kind of game but without any of the repetition any of the long-term commitment is just the nugget of joy that that concept brings you uh but available for everyone I, like, I really love the soft tone of, of the artwork in it, of the, of the graphics. It, it just really, it's really a relaxing game, despite the fact that it has a big topic uh, mm -hmm. about uh, conservation. It, it's done in a very easy way where it's not, it's not necessarily in your face. It's not being, you mm -hmm. know, kind of just shoved, shoved at you at like some other things do. Can you talk about uh, developing that and making sure that it wasn't necessarily too preachy, but just fun? Yeah, it was... Uh... It was a, like a conversation from the get-go. Um, we knew we were making a game about nature and the love of nature, and you can't really make something about that without you know, talking about the real issues in the natural world and how humans affect nature and all that. But as you say, we didn't want to make it pretty and we didn't want to feel like you know, we're telling you over, like you're playing a game, you're there to have fun. Um, so for me, it was really important that the tone was uh you know uplifting and and gave you the feeling that you know we can do it like yeah there are problems but we can solve it if we work together um which i find a much more in inspiring and uh you know a, a message that is more easy to join in than you know the world ended last week and you didn't do anything um i think giving people the chance to do something is always better than you know reminding them that they didn't do anything in the first place mm -hmm. Absolutely. What, what is your role as an art director for, for a game like this? Um, well, this game is a bit different because um, in this game, I have also been the creative director. Okay. Um, 
so which means the the idea came from me and uh, Kirsty Kitch, who is uh, the programmer and designer who I work with uh, on the prototype. Um, so I've been leading not just the visuals but also the tone and the story and the development of, of the whole concept. Um, usually, as an art director, I will you know take the gameplay and and see how you know how the visuals can reflect that gameplay. But in the case of uh, working as creative director is like taking everything into account and making sure that all the pieces fit together um, visually, gameplay wise, uh, the technology that we, you know, how big is the island? How many characters do we have? How many animals do we have? And, and how all these things interlock together um, and keeping the tone and making sure the characters have a distinct voice and, you know, they don't say things that you wouldn't say in this particular game. Um, I know it's, it's, it's difficult for me to describe because it's something that, <laughs> something that I really enjoy is like I'm get excited and like I want to do this and this and this and this was kind of like the the perfect opportunity for me to do something like that um but yeah it's about controlling most of it is about controlling the tone and the presentation and and how to convey the idea to players well that passion really shows through in the in the game just just as how well it's done uh can we talk a little bit about your partnerships with with the game. I know that uh, you guys have uh, had mentioned uh, ecolo ecolo ecology. Uh, not sure. Ecology, yeah. Ecology, um, and you know they they have an overall goal to plant one million trees, and and a couple of the other uh, people you've partnered with. So yeah, um, ecology is the one that feels uh, seems to be the one that people engage with the most because it's very it's kind of like simple to understand for each copy of the game that people download with planting mm -hmm. a tree. Uh, we, we have uh, partnered with Ecology to do sustainable plantation of trees in different sites in Africa. Um, and we're 600,000 trees planted, I think. It's, it, it, we have this lofty goal of like, let's plant a million trees. Uh, and we're over halfway there, which is fantastic, astounding to me. Uh, we only released the game a few months ago. Um, and yeah, that's been really, really good, really like really easy to to understand as an impact. Um, and we also have partnered with uh, Counter Sin, which is uh, an agency from the UN. Um, they is basically the way it works. You pledge to do things. Uh, they have a list of like recommended things that you can do to help the environment. Um, and we have our own page there that people can go and and we have a, a few pledges that like. I'm gonna go to, you know, use the car less and mm, okay. use a bike instead, or that, that kind of like I'm gonna recycle. I'm gonna be, you know, reduce my waste in this way. Um, so there's a few options that people can sign up and say like I'm gonna try this as a way to, you know, encourage people to to, I guess like make those changes that you make in your life maybe because you care as well but make them visible in a way that inspires others to do the same mm -hmm. very good what is your favorite aspect about the game um i know that's a tough one <laughs> so the the things that have been surprising to me how much i've enjoyed is watching people play on the internet on twitch on youtube and see how people react to the settings, seeing how people react to the things that happen. Um, like there's a, there's a selfish uh, way of making games, like, you know, you want to make the thing that you want to make. And, and of course, the, this game has a lot of personal things for me in the game. But, um, but you know, you make a game for people and making people happy and, and seeing how people react. And, and this feeling that no one is, you know, playing the game and saying like, I don't know, like having a, a bad time with it, like, oh, everything is positive about their experience in the game. Even if, you know, something doesn't go right, like the worst case scenario, it's just <laughs> funny. Um, but everyone seems to be super positive and engaged and, and, and feels like they bring, especially this year, which, you know, really mm -hmm. tough for everyone. And people playing like, oh yeah, this is what I needed. Like I can forget about the world and I can just be happy in this place and like and do good. Well, it's a fantastic game. Uh, David, thank you so thank much you. for your time today. I appreciate it.
I hope everybody has an opportunity to download this game and help them reach their goal of a million trees. Alba, a wildlife adventure, which is available now on Apple Arcade. David, thanks again, and uh, congratulations on the game. Thank you very much. All right, take care. Thank you.